Now the best way to learn how to actually take photos is to understand the exposure compensation. is worth a thousand words but if you can't take a photo then what's the point I'm James Rowe and welcome to my channel today I'm going to talk to you about exposure compensation exposure compensation is an amazing tool used internally by the camera that really deciphers whether your photos are going to be good or bad when you're in the manual photography mode all I'm doing is judging my light based on the exposure compensation scale. The exposure compensation scale is right here and as I change my shutter speed or my aperture notice how uh, the exposure compensation scale is saying plus means too light so too light too much light is coming into the camera and when it goes over to the negative it means not enough light is coming into the camera, which means your photos are going to be underexposed if there's not enough light or overexposed if there's too much light coming into the camera. And what you want to do is you want to make sure that you're shooting at the zero here, which means perfectly exposed. We need to take into account that exposure compensation directly relates to the amount of available light that is coming into the camera. So by changing the shutter speed, we're letting in more or less light depending on time. And by changing the aperture, we're letting more or less light depending on how wide the lens is open or how closed it is. So think about this. If it's bright, sunny day, you're going to want to start at f11. Whereas if it's really dark out or if you're at a wedding or something like that, there's not a lot of available light. So you're going to need to open up the aperture very wide so that you can let in more light. ISO reflects actually fake light. So it is uh, the camera adding fake light based on the sensitivity the sensor is to the light that is available. So the problem with ISO sometimes is in really low light situations you may get this hazy look in the dark parts or they might turn colors like purple and brown yucky noisy colors and that's because the camera is so sensitive but there's no light available exposure compensation is about balancing all three of these things aperture shutter speed and iso and if you can balance all of those together you can get really great photos that are perfectly exposed. But remember, exposure compensation is not the be all and the end all. We don't always want a perfectly exposed photo. Sometimes we want a brighter photo, sometimes we want a darker photo. So don't be bound to the rules of exposure compensation, but allow ISO, shutter speed, and S-stop as you're learning how to change the dials and manipulate the camera to use fake light or to use aperture or to use shutter speed to let in the proper amount of light for what you're trying to capture. I hope this quick lesson helped you understand what exposure compensation is and I want you to stay tuned for the next couple episodes where I'm going to go into depth on shutter speed, ISO and aperture. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.